On September 23rd, a ferret convention was held at the Gilbertsville Fire Hall. Ferret lovers of all kinds gathered to show off their ferrets, buy supplies, and learn from others about their cuddly little creatures. This is um, Fall Fandango. It's now our semi-annual ferret show. Um, we do a spring show called uh, Ferret Fandango. Um, it's our largest fundraiser. All of the proceeds from the show goes to our shelter um, for medical care, um, bedding, food, all of the things that the ferrets need in our shelter. Along with raffle prizes, a judging of competing ferrets was also held to determine the best behavior and grooming among the animals. Every tiny detail matters when the owner's ferrets are being judged. We look for bone structure. We're looking for the shape of the ribs and the, um, the hips and the bone density. And then we're looking for body mass, how much muscle mass is on the ferret, and then how much uh, fat is fat layers on top of it. And then we look for the shape of the head, the placement of the features, and um, all the aspects of, of, the, of what makes a good head. And um, what we also do, which is very important, is the health and maintenance category. And this is where the owner really makes the biggest impact. So if the ferret gets proper uh, exercise out of the cage and proper nutrition and is groomed on a regular basis, we can tell that. And the owner will score very high in this, in this uh, particular category. And this is one of the highest categories in the ring. And the other, uh, the other category is temperament. So of course if the ferret it lets us do our job and uh, check it out and it doesn't have a problem with it, or if they even interact back with the judge, it's always good because it's a total stranger to that ferret. So temperament's very important too. And then there's a the judge's impression. So how well does that ferret fit the APA standard for what it is? Whether a ferret owner or not, it was a fun stop on a Saturday afternoon. Zachary Reiner, WZIR Internet News.